The one portion of the Excel ribbon system that is unique and different is the file tab, which actually leads us into what we call the backstage view. As I click file, recognize we're in a completely different screen. And the primary purpose of the backstage view is to allow us to handle the opening and closing and saving of files. If we want to create a brand new file, we can click new. Many times we want to create a file based on one of the many templates that's built in. Save yourself time by choosing, for example, a simple budget. If you're trying to create a file that is about your either family budget or work budget, you might start with this option here. If you simply want to create a new file that's blank and you know what you're about to put into it, you'll choose blank workbook. A shortcut for doing this is Control N and you'll bypass that entire menu. Hold down Control, press the letter N, and that's a whole new workbook. It's called Book 2. But we do have to go back to the File tab at different times as we save information after we've made changes to a workbook. And from time to time, you will want to choose Save or Save As. In all these different variations here, you can choose different locations. Maybe you're saving information on this computer, that computer, you might be using a flash drive. All these various options related to opening and closing and saving files are located here in the backstage view. Recognize also that we have print options here as well. This leads us into a whole series of choices here, some of which we'll cover in later movies. The so-called backstage view relates to features that we use when handling files and we exit from this area by pressing escape or the left arrow at the top of the screen.